For almost seven years, I had not uploaded anything to YouTube. Then the pandemic happened and I was jobless and I started uh, uploading stuff to YouTube. About a year back, I started this sort of kind of comeback to YouTube uh, with a video on how to assemble a rubber dam set for under 5000 rupees. This video was kind of motivated by, own, my, by my own personal experience of uh, trying to assemble a budget uh, rubber dam kit. Uh, at that point, there were rubber dam kits available from several manufacturers, but I felt that they were a little overpriced and most of the components of these kits uh, went uh, mostly unused. So it is now about one year since I made that video and I have changed my armamentarium quite a bit and I thought I had to update that video and that video was very poorly shot. It was shot with a webcam and uh, using a screen capture uh, device. I didn't actually have the clamps or other equipment with me in hand. I just shot it in my bedroom, turned off the light and shot it in my bedroom. So I thought uh, um, rubber, rubber dam armamentarium required a, a better quality video. So this is my 2021 update for how to assemble a rubber dam uh, kit for less than 5000 rupees. So the first component of any rubber dam set are the clamps that you're going to use. So I probably previously would have suggested three clamps in my previous video. Uh, now that is kind of outdated. I don't use those three clamps anymore. The only clamp that I use for 90% of my uh, isolations is one from KSK called the 56T clamp or the 56 tiger clamp. Uh, it has become kind of like my go-to uh, clamp for almost any procedure, be it uh, restorative, be it uh, endodontic, um, be it uh, cementation of uh, Emax uh, crowns, bridges, lithium disilicate restorations, whatever may be. Uh, the 5060 clamp has become my go-to clamp. And it is the clamp that I use 90% of the time. It can be uh, used on any molar as long as you have sufficient buckle space. It's a winged clamp, which is why you need buckle space. Uh, one of the biggest advantages with this clamp is that it is a very active clamp. It has, it has a kind of sawtooth pattern on its beaks, which makes it very retentive. And uh, especially when used with uh, certain thick gauge rubber dam sheets, the posterior part of the clamp does not lift off the tooth. So the clamp stays exactly where I place it. It does not lift off because of the tension applied on it by the rubber dam sheet. So this is my go-to clamp. There are some situations where I cannot use the 5060. These are very rare occasions. These are mostly uh, maxillary uh, second molars, in some cases mandibular second molars, in these cases, I choose two other clamps. One is the 14T clamp from KSK and the number three clamp from Hugh Freddy. So again, these clamps, uh, I use them about 10% of the time. Uh, the number three clamp is a wingless clamp. So usually it can be placed more easily on teeth which do not have a sufficient amount of space buckled to them. Uh, and the 14T clamp is usually used for smaller molars. I very rarely use that clamp. I just get it and uh, uh, keep it as a backup for my 5060 clamp. Uh, I wouldn't, if you are very uh, tight on your budget, uh, the 14T clamp is purely optional. You don't have to buy the 14T clamp. Your 5060T clamp and the number three clamp should be more than sufficient for isolating most molars and all teeth anterior to the molars. Usually what I do is I uh, put the primary clamp, which is my 5060 clamp on either a second molar or a first molar and then make punches anterior to it to isolate up to the premolar. So this is usually how I isolate my posterior segments. Now coming to 
anterior segment isolation. So do you need to buy a clamp specifically for uh, your premolars or specifically for your anti or, or your incisors? Um, what I've, I've started doing is again in the interest of cutting down on the amount of or the number of equipment needed, uh, I've started using the 2T clamp from KSK it, which is again a very active clamp. I usually use this on first premolars and uh, isolate the teeth anterior to the first premolars. So basically you can get away again with just three clamps just like last time. The 56T clamp, the 2T clamp both of them from KSK and finally the number three clamp from Hugh Freddy. Uh, so there are other clamps that you probably could get uh, based on your on each procedure that is used but they are all very optional the must have clamps again i say the must have clamps are only these three clamps 5060 from Hugh, uh, from ksk number 3 from Hugh Freedy for the molars 2t for premolars and all teeth anterior to the premolars so that is as far as clamps are concerned the second most important uh, part of any rubber dam set is the rubber dam sheets. Again, I made a video again about a year back uh, about my most favorite rubber dam sheet or my subjective opinion regarding rubber dam sheets. Uh, since then, I have again had an opportunity to use uh, several other brands of rubber dam sheets. Also, uh, I should thank uh, Sanctuary uh, they had seen the video that I had put up and they sent me a bunch of rubber dam sheets to evaluate and I now have a new favorite as far as my rubber dam sheets are concerned. Uh, this new favorite is the Sanctuary Blue Silk Medium Gauge Rubber Dam Sheet. Uh, what I had started using after I made that video uh, in the interest of because I was using most of the rubber dam isolations I was using it for restorative purposes. I needed a lot of retraction. So what I started doing was I started uh, uh, using thick gauge rubber dam sheets. I was using, using a lot of medium gauge rubber dam sheets before that. I started using a lot of thick gauge rubber dam sheets. So as I started using thick gauge rubber dam sheets, um, the biggest problem with thick gauge rubber dam sheets is that they don't stretch all that great well. And also though they give great amount of retraction, gingival retraction, they actually do not, uh, it's very hard to get them in between interdentally. Uh, they don't stretch all that much. That is the biggest problem. Especially I found this problem with the black uh, rubber dam sheet that comes from Sanctuary. The thick gauge black rubber dam sheets, the powder free one. Uh, so I actually discontinued using Sanctuary at that time. And I shifted to a brand called uh, M Dental. Uh, which was quite good uh, though the there was there were some uh, uh, technical problems with the rubber dam sheet like uh, inconsistency of thickness between different colors and uh, the rubber dam sheet tearing quite often especially the black colored rubber dam sheet and M dental it tears a lot so I actually was not very keen on that rubber dam sheet because the only color that I could use was they had a pastel green sheet which was of the ideal thickness that I could uh, use and uh, this pastel green uh, I couldn't find it quite often. Sometimes they will have it, sometimes, sometimes they will not have it. So I was still on the lookout for a go-to rubber dam sheet. That is when Sanctuary came back and uh, they offered to send me a bunch of rubber dam sheets for me to evaluate and they sent me the usual stuff the latex, the non-latex, um, both medium gauge, then the heavy gauge latex rubber dam sheet, the powder free one, then the thin gauge uh, one, powder free one. Uh, most of them performed as expected and uh, there was no wow factor or surprise factor there. Then I came across this one, this blue silk latex medium gauge rubber dam sheets from Sanctuary. This was, they had just given me one box of it. There was a thin gauge one, which I, I never used thin gauge. So again, that's not something you should buy. So this uh, medium gauge blue silk sanctuary rubber dam sheet is my new favorite. Simply because 
it behaves like a non latex rubber dam sheet it stretches equivalent to a non latex rubber dam sheet it doesn't tear at all i i put it through the ringer literally i will post some photos now uh, i have literally put it through the ringer as far as uh, my restorative work and retractions are concerned uh, and it has performed spectacularly uh, i have never i have not seen the rubber dam sheet tear even once uh, apart from this it is one of the most easiest sheets i don't know how i don't know what sort of witchcraft these people do with this particular rubber dam sheet but uh, compared to every other rubber dam sheet i've used this is one of the easiest to invert around the tooth uh, there are situations where even when i use a floss i have failed to invert rubber dams but this is one of the easiest rubber dam sheets to invert uh, one problem especially with this particular uh, rubber dam sheet this is the the blue flex blue silk medium gauge rubber dam sheet is that i don't know if it is available in india uh because the dealer who sells sanctuary here uh, who's ident uh, i have not seen it in their uh, catalog so probably it will be available probably you could go request and he could make it available but this was sent to me directly by uh, sanctuary and i'm i'm i'm, I'm completely in love with this rubber dam sheet it's probably going to be my uh, go to sheet from now on Uh, so that is as far as rubber dam sheets are concerned and i don't know how much this blue silk will cost because the normal latex cost of normal latex sanctuary rubber dam sheets is around 850 to 950 rupees uh, this is considered one of their more premium top end products so i expect it to be a little more expensive but it is worth it it is absolutely worth it especially if you are someone who does a lot of quadrant dentistry and who does a lot of restorative work the blue uh, silk medium gauge rubber dam sheet from sanctuary is probably the best latex rubber dam sheet you can find of course their non latex is also quite good uh, but again with their non latex i would probably prefer a more thicker gauge than to than going for the medium gauge uh, rubber dam sheets uh, now the third component a third and the fourth components of any rubber dam set are your rubber dam punch and your rubber dam forceps and what i said in my previous video stands good now this is where you can try to cut your costs personally it doesn't make any sense for me to go and spend 15000 rupees on a rubber dam punch or on a rubber dam forceps i would rather spend about 500 600 rupees get a gdc uh, uh, rubber dam uh, punch and forceps that is what i use and that is what i have been using for almost 5 years now and i doesn't make any sense for me spending more than that on these products because they are all not all that critical in your uh, isolation procedure so that is it as far as uh, the third and fourth components is concerned and uh, the final one the rubber dam frame in my previous video i would have recommended a foldable rubber dam frame now i strongly recommend against using a fold or strongly recommend against using a foldable rubber dam frame uh, simply because it is easier to dismantle the rubber dam sheet from the frame remove the frame and take an x-ray than try to uh, bend the foldable frame and take an x-ray i found personally i i i found that more easier to just dismantle the rubber dam assembly take the frame out place a sensor and take the x ray and it is only helpful as far as the foldable rubber dam sheet is concerned it is only helpful with regards to endo procedures and uh, my majority of my procedures are restorative i do endo but still majority of my procedures are restorative and the foldable rubber dam frame doesn't make any sense uh, with regards to uh, restorative restorative work so in this case my recommendation would be to go with uh, hue freddy's uh, medium sized rubber dam uh, frame which is around 2400 rupees uh, if you want to again cut cost here uh, again you get some from gdc which is around 500 rupees or so there's also one which i saw on dental cart which is around 250 rupees again this is where somewhere where you can cut cost 
if you want a good frame uh, kind of contoured kind of frame go with the Hue 3D one which is around it's quite good uh, it's around 2500 or 2400 rupees uh, the um, cheaper ones are around 500 rupees so again you can cut costs here and finally one of the uh, components that I had left out last time was floss so what floss to use basically whatever is available I basically use uh, oral B uh, essential floss which is the only one that I get in the pharmacy in Emma clinic uh, sometimes I use a Colgate uh, floss so whatever floss you can get and a floss is mandatory especially when you are doing restorative work floss is mandatory you can use anything you get there's no specific there's nothing very special about floss okay you can use any floss that you get so to recap clamps 5060 2t and number three so all three put together um, should cost you around 2400 and 800 around 3000 rupees for the clamps um, 500 500 for the forceps and the uh, punch that is another thousand rupees that's about four thousand rupees and uh, for the frame you spend uh, another two thousand five hundred rupees that is around six thousand five hundred or you could just uh, uh, get a budget one or for around five hundred rupees and uh, you would have spent around 4500 rupees still you are assembling a, a rather complete rubber dam set for less than 5000 rupees this should be enough especially if you are a beginner this should be what you should begin with okay uh, buying a full rubber dam clamp set is not going to be useful at all you will probably end up not using almost three fourth of the clamps that you find at the uh, set okay so I hope that uh, this video was helpful and the usual stick of like subscribe comment below and uh, also uh, a very important announcement I have uh, started a group called the Indian Dental or a club called the Indian Dental Collective on Clubhouse uh, you can just log in and you can join that club uh, we have very constructive conversations on this uh, uh, on this club almost on a weekly basis uh, and I think it will be very useful especially if you are someone who is new to dentistry uh, who is kind of finding it hard to find your way through uh, uh, dentistry after uh, your BDS uh, this would be a very useful club for you uh, so I will just leave a link in the description you could just click on it and uh, try to enter the club okay and uh, again thank you guys for watching this uh, channel has reached almost 4300 subscribers now um, I have added about 1200 subscribers in the last one year uh, I again thank you for the support and I'll try to keep making videos more regularly from now on okay so have a nice day, all the best and goodbye.